In today's video, I'll show you the best OBS streaming settings for macOS. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. If you haven't already seen my other video for best recording settings for macOS, make sure to check that out. This one is for streaming. So first, what you need to do is obviously have OBS opened. Once your OBS is open, you go into the settings over here and then you will see a lot of things and here is what we're gonna change. So what we want to do is we wanna go into the video tab right over here and then choose the base and output resolution. Like I said in the previous video, in the base resolution, depending on if you're using an external monitor or you're using the Mac screen, the laptop screen, it will differ right here. Make sure to choose the highest resolution that you could possibly have. So because I'm using an external monitor, I have a 1440p monitor, so I'm using that. If you're using your Mac, laptop monitor then make sure to choose whatever the resolution there is on the output scaled resolution is the resolution that we want to stream in so if you want to stream in 1080p make sure to choose 1080p if you're streaming in 720p make sure to choose that over there so we simply just choose 1080p or 720p right here i cannot choose it because i'm recording but make sure to do that right there on the common fps values you want to choose 60 fps as the 60 fps streams just look really good and then we go into the output tab right over here so in the output tab before we actually do any of these settings we want to go into the stream and then obviously choose the service where you want to stream if you if you're streaming on twitch or youtube make sure to choose that over here and then you can either connect your account which is actually recommended or just use the stream key. I'll click stream key just for now, but I would usually use the connecting account feature. And then over here, you will get the advanced option where it says ignore streaming service setting recommendations. Make sure this is toggled on. You will get a warning, but just simply click yes and then apply. What this does is actually allows you to stream in higher resolution for both Twitch and YouTube and any other platform. So make sure to enable this and then I'll show you why it matters later. Go to the output tab and over here, you will see the streaming tab. Make sure your output mode is in advanced. So once you choose advanced output mode, you will see the audio encoder right over here. You want to choose audio uh, core audio AAC. And then once you've done that, you can enable Twitch VOD track, which is something that I've done in a previous video. I talked about it, how you can use this to kind of get around the DMCA claims and playing DMCA music. So if you want to watch that video, go check that out. Uh, on the video encoder, you want to choose, there's only going to be two things. There's going to be X264 and there's going to be Apple VTH264 hardware and software encoders. So what we want to choose is the H264 hardware encoder as that is better and that's using the GPU instead of the CPU. So less load on our system and then hardware encoder because that is literally way better than the software one. It uses the extra chip inside the Apple Silicon, which then basically uses less resources on your streaming and playing and whatever else you're doing. So on the rate control, you want to choose CBR, which is constant bit rate. So you want to have that constant bit rate all the time. And then for the bit rate, we want to choose 8000 bit rate if you have good enough internet for it. This is why we enabled the ignore streaming service recommendations so we can go up to 8000 as that is the max bit rate or Twitch right now. Keep in mind that the bit rate is 1041 megabit of upload. So in order for you to check how fast your internet is and how much bit rate you can use, go to speedtest.net, run a speed test, and then all you will care about is the upload speed on the right side over here. So if this number is above 10, then you can use 8000 bit rate. If it's lower, then make sure to use 80% of your internet for streaming and then 20% for everything else. So like I said, one upload is 1000 bit rate. You want to choose 80% for stream, 20% for everything else. If you have above 10, then you can just run max 8000 bit rate. You won't notice anything. Now that you've chosen the bit rate right here on the keyframe interval, we want to choose zero. And then on the profile, we choose high. Also, no B frames as that really doesn't benefit the Apple Mac OS. Once you've done everything, click on apply and then go into the audio tab and you want to choose the sample rate and the channels as 48 kilohertz and stereo make sure to also use the desktop audio and then mic choose the whatever device you want to use for your obs what we also want to do is want to go back to output and then on the audio tab we want to choose all these 
bit rates for audio we want to choose them as 320 as that is the best bit rate that we can use right now on obs and just makes the audio way better and that's basically it those are the best obs streaming settings for a mac os if you like this video make sure to drop a like it would mean the world to me if you don't already know i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in the description below anyway if you want to see more of my obs guides make sure to check this video right over here Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.